Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and I'm continuing the Clover in Time challenge created by Kennedy Hawk from the Marvel Champions Monthly Podcast. If you would like to try out this challenge yourself, uh, I've added the link into the video description below. Uh, you can check the rules of the challenge from there and see how you construct the decks for the challenge. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. This time I will be playing Black Widow Justice against Green Goblin Risky Business Scenario with normal difficulty. So let's get going. So I still need to shuffle the decks. And then we can draw our opening hand and start playing. So we get uh, no Widow's Gauntlet. I think I'll hard mulligan for the Widow's Gauntlet. I'll keep one Spycraft and, at hand and discard the rest. I get one Gauntlet, that's okay. So let's start the hero turn. Uh, first action, I'll use uh, Power of Justice and play down Counter Intelligence. I'll use one Stealth Strike to play down Widow's Gauntlet and use the Gauntlet to play down Spy Craft. And I would have drawn one card. Yeah. I get the synths with. Yeah, well, I'll just save that for the next turn. And then I'll flip. And I'll thwart for two. And I draw up. I'll keep espionage and since with that hand. So three cards. Okay. And the villain face, so Norman adds one threat there. We get an encounter card. Oh yeah, uh, Norman would attack, but we add one infamy token on the criminal enterprises. Then uh, we get the encounter card, which is assault, so we get just another token on the, the criminal enterprises. That's it. Uh, that was the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. So first thing first, we play down the synth suit. I'll pay it with uh, Honorary Avenger, Endurance and one Espionage. I'll play down one Espionage with the Gauntlets and I start removing the tokens from here by attacking and that's my turn so ready up draw back to five and let's go to the villain phase so we add one threat and Norman would attack so we add one there and the encounter card is all in a day's work Put two infamy tokens down. Mm, do I want to? No, I'll just let them be added. And that's the villain phase, so let's go to the hero phase. I'll use Power of Justice, Ancient Coulson and one of the grappling hooks to play down Daredevil. And I think I'll attack with Black Widow, remove two from here, and toward with uh, Daredevil. And Daredevil deals one damage, so we remove another damage token. And that's the hero phase, and 
ready up and roll back up to five. To one too many. Yeah. Uh, villain phase we had one threat and we had one here from the attack and we get the counter card which is coupling glider we put that in the play and that's the villain phase so let's go to the next hero phase this turn um, we could play a bunch of stuff from hand there's a lot of uh, boost abilities in the encounter deck, so I think first action I'll play the target acquired down. Uh, I could play Nick Fury, yeah let's do that. I'll use the rest of my cards at hand to draw three cards. I have th uh, four preparations, so I play Winter Soldier for free. And last action I'll play another Black Widow's Gauntlet down. So our setup is looking quite decent right about now. So let's start hitting the Green Goblin or Norman actually. First action I'll uh, thwart for two with Daredevil. I remove one with the attack ability. Nick Fury hits for two. We remove those and we flip to state of madness, add two madness tokens to the uh, state of madness. And Norman flips to Green Goblin side. So when uh, Green Goblin flips, we add three indirect damage. So one there, I'll take one on Black Widow and one on Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier will attack for two. Black Widow will attack for two. And that's my turn. So we uh, draw back up to five. Ready up. And we go to the villain phase. So we add one threat there. Green Goblin attacks. Uh, Nick Fury will defend. Nick Fury will take a bunch of damage, but would have been remove at the end of the turn either way and uh, encounter card is green goblin attacks the hero with the fewest hit points uh, yeah i'll defend green goblin attacks so six Minus three is three damage. And uh, we ready up with the synth suite. Okay, so that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We will play down Widow's Bite with the gauntlets. Not Hiking the other card, so I think I'll just try to do some damage. Go to heal and go from there. So, three for stealth strike, four damage on goblin. Black Widow hits for two. Uh, Winter Soldier hits for two. And I think I'll flip then. We could also hit with Daredevil, but I, I think we'll advance next next turn. Okay, so ready up. 
draw five, uh, draw six. And the villain phase, we had one threat. Uh, Green Goblin seems, but uh, we remove one madness counter when he seems. And encounter card is collapsing bridge. So we put two threat here. And it's we need to get rid of that first. And so that's the villain phase, we go to the next hero phase. First action, I'll play down attack robotics, draw one card. I'll put... Uh, I use the other one to play another espionage. I'll use covered ops to play followed on collapsing bridge. I'll heal up. I'll flip. I'll play another spycraft down. So eight preparations in play. <laughs> None of them are triggering. That's quite unfortunate, but hopefully we get a big turn when they are starting to uh, trigger and Daredevil will thwart he to here, do one damage here, and actually we'll do this in a bit different order. We hit with Winter Soldier first for two damage. So we go to the phase 2 Green Goblin, so we deal 4 indirect damage. I'll take it all on Black Widow. Now. And then we will add the health back up before we do anything else. So, 18 health. Now we'll toward with Daredevil. It gets discarded. We remove two. We re remove the collapse in breach. And we trigger followed. So we deal 4 damage to an enemy. And I think that's it, so we're ready up. We draw back up to 5, so we get an extra encounter card for decking out. And Green Goblin attacks, uh, Winter Soldier will defend. Mm. Winter Soldier just dies. And we get the encounter card, so the first one is... Uh, obligation, nothing I can do much about that. I think I'll discard the highest preparation card. I'll discard it and discard the highest cost of its counterintelligence. Not a big loss. And uh, let's see what the next one is. It's a treachery. So we will trigger. Spycraft, deal one damage, draw a new one, and it's a hired gun. Uh, we trigger Widow Spite, deal one damage to Green Goblin, and two damage on the hired 
gone and it's stunned. Actually, I'll just kill it. So I'll, I'll put one back on the green goblin and kill the hard gun rather than leave it in play. Okay, so finally we're getting these preparations in good use. So that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, let's play a few more preparations down. Well, at least one. I'll use Dance of Death with those cards. So we do one damage, then we do, do two damage, and then we do three damage. So do six damage in total. Then I'll hit with Black Widow. And I think I'll go to heal for next turn. Draw back up to six. Ready up. And it's the villain phase, so we add one threat. Uh, green Goblin seems so. We flip this back to Criminal in Enterprise. And Green Goblin goes back to Norman Osborn side. And we got the encounter card, which is an assault. So let's see, espionage. Yeah, so this gains search. <coughs> we use both of the espionages. This don't need to be in hero mode, so we draw a total of four cards more. So we get a really big turn next turn. And we get the new card, so it's a private security specialist, comes into play. And let's go to the next hero phase. So I have 10 cards in hand. First action, I'll play down Spycraft, draw one card. I'll use uh, power of justice and counterintelligence to pay for agent Coulson. Agent Coulson gets us another preparation card from our discard uh, or deck. Do I want any of these or I think I'll take the espionage. And I'll play it down with the Black Widow's Gauntlet. I'll play There they will. I'll heal up. I'll flip to Black Widow. And actually, I'll take the playing of the Daredevil back. I don't need, think I need him. I'll play uh, under surveillance here, so with the threat. Level is 11 now. Then I'll uh, Stealth Strike. Play these cards for it and defeat the security specialist. And I get to remove some threat. So I remove two threat from a scheme. So let's remove it from here. And Agent Coulson will attack Green Goblin. Remove one from there. We draw back up to five. And let's go to the villain phase. So we add one threat here. So we add two infamy counters here. And we get an encounter card. Yeah, we would have readied our stuff up. Uh, discard an upgrade. I'll Trigger Spycraft for this. I'll deal one damage, remove one counter from there. We look for a new card. Uh, Sheeming, we do the same thing here. Spycraft, do one damage, 
and reveal a new card. Uh, I think I'll give the villain a face down boost card. Put it here so I don't mix them up. Okay, that, <clears throat> that was the villain face. Let's go to the next hero face. Use both gauntlets to play down grappling hook. And uh, I'll hit for one with Agent Coulson. Remove that last and flip this on the other side. We add two madness tokens there. Norman flips to Green Goblin. I think we'll just end it here. So I'll take all of the. Well, I take one on Colson and three on Black Widow. I hit for two. And I'll play Stealth Strike for four damage. And we actually get to remove the threat also, and that's Green Goblin risky business down with Black Widow Justice. So that that went quite well in the end. Uh, that's the Clobber in Time Challenge, Black Widow Justice against uh, Green Goblin risky business. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.